Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for X and we're given X to the fifth plus X to the fifth plus X to the fifth equals three to the 11th. And if you want to try this one, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. On the left-hand side, we have three X to the fifths. We can write that as three X to the fifth. And then we can divide both sides of the equation by three. On the left-hand side, these threes are going to cancel each other out. So we have X to the fifth. And on the right-hand side, we can change this three into three to the first power. And anytime you have a power divided by a power and the bases match, you can subtract the exponents. So this becomes three to the 11 minus one. And 11 minus one is equal to 10. So we have X to the fifth is equal to three to the 10th. Now to get the X by itself, we can do both sides to the exponent of one fifth. On the left-hand side, we can multiply these exponents. So it's X to the five times one fifth. And five times one fifth is equal to one, which leaves us with X. And then on the right-hand side, we can also multiply the exponents. And 10 times 1 fifth is equal to 2. Now we have x is equal to 3 squared. And 3 squared is equal to 9. x equals 9 is the real answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. But there's a little bit more we can do. 3 to the 10th is equal to 59,049. So we're trying to find all the solutions of x to the 5th equals 59,049. Since the exponent is a 5, there are going to be 5 solutions for x. And so far we found one of them, x equals nine. But there are four other solutions. These other ones are gonna be complex solutions. They're gonna be in the form a plus bi, where i is the imaginary number. And all four of these will be in that format. They'll all be some real portion plus some imaginary portion. But how do we find these other values? You can use de Moivre's theorem, which uses polar numbers, and that's kind of fun. We could do that in a different video. But for this video, I'll show you a way to find them. It starts with a number line where this is zero. And our first solution is going to be located at nine. Now this number line represents all the real numbers. To get the imaginary numbers, we can introduce a vertical line and it can have the same scale. These are all the real numbers and these are all the imaginary numbers. So we can plot a point right there. This plotted point is located at three, four, or we can write it as a number three plus four I. This is in the A plus B I form we talked about earlier. So our other four solutions are not gonna be on this real number line. They're gonna be located somewhere in this complex plane. A quick way to find the other solutions is draw a circle with radius nine. And then since there are five answers, let's inscribe a regular pentagon. These intersections of the pentagon and the circle happen to be the solutions to the question. This one's located at nine zero. That's the same thing as our X equals nine. That's the first solution we got. Now for this one, this is going to be at an angle of 72 degrees. We got that by doing 360 divided by five. Since this is at 72 degrees, we can use some trigonometry. Nine times cosine 72 gives us the X value and nine 